Welcome back to the demo studio. As always, my name is Nick. Thank you very much for joining us for another Race Video live stream. Uh, this week, I'm going to be basically just talking about the newest materials that are going to be on the E2CF, um, but just kind of getting into some of the new stuff and uh, just talking about my experience working with uh, the new PA12 material that we have coming out. So we can go ahead and get into that. Just looking at our E2 here right now, it is running uh, our main support material and our carbon fiber nylon material currently. A um, few things about the new carbon fiber nylon. Uh, a lot of its expected strengths and properties are going to be similar to some of the other carbon fiber nylons you've already seen on the market. Uh, Metaharkas Nylon X, which is a very, very good material. I've been running that um, a lot before we came out with our newer material here. Uh, our new stuff is going to be pretty similar to uh, that one. I believe it is a little bit stronger in a couple areas, but we are still running um, some more testing on this stuff, uh, tweaking it a little bit. Um, so just looking a little bit at its kind of weight to strength properties. It does have a really good uh, strength to weight ratio. So in my experience working with it, it is uh, a pretty low warp, still has magic on the bed. Um, a lot of the support material that we're running with it, it's really, really easy to get the supports off of uh, these carbon fiber nylon parts. There we go. This was from our earlier stream, uh, being able to remove that support material. And again, the wrap comes right off and the supports internally, again, remove really, really cleanly. I'm just being able to remove my hand, take this out, uh, getting into porting the main structure. It works pretty similarly to um, like breakaway supports you would see with any other part if you are single extruding it actually removes easier than something like a pla part printed with pla supports the support material removes extremely easily uh, from all these carbon fiber nylon parts that i've been printing on this machine so far uh, we have another test print that is running the carbon fiber nylon material and then printing the support materials in uh, threads so in all areas the support material is improving uh, the post-processing time, really easy to remove these, and the final quality of the parts, I would say, is coming out better uh, with the support material than if you were just to use carbon fiber uh, nylon for the rest of the supports. And that's a big thing that is new for the E2CF. Uh, it's been pretty much really flawless, seamless printing. And comparing it to other uh, kind of dual material applications, um, PVA material, if you've ever worked with it, you'd know that it's uh, very, very uh, subject to oozing. It's a pretty aggressive um, oozing material. So we would typically do a uh, wipe wall and a wipe tower running those. In the E2CF right now, it is also printing a slightly smaller wipe tower, the little circular notch off to the far left. So it still runs the same uh, kind of interface or nested pattern for the wipe tower. And that just cleans off the nozzle. It's the same system you're probably familiar with with all of our other machines. Um, but because of these uh, kind of new uh, support material, new carbon fiber nylon, those are still doing pretty well. They're not subject to a whole lot of ooze, um, and that tower is still able to kind of uh, remove that, and I'm not seeing a whole lot of uh, issues with the material intermingling yet. So, um, and then regards to running uh, this material in some of the other machines, running it on other machines is possible. In my experience, it has been a little bit more abrasive uh, than uh, what you would typically expect. Upgrading to hardened nozzles is definitely going to be a must for this material. Everything in the ETCF is optimized for running nothing but this material. It'll withstand a lot of that wear and tear. Uh, everything within the E2CF's print head is all metal, so that's going to withstand a lot of that wear and tear. A uh, question about the E2CF running other materials uh, like an ASA, PLA, or nylon, etc. Um, so currently the E2CF is going to be uh, locked into running the PA12 material and the support materials. Um, and it's essentially going to be just prioritizing running um, just carbon fiber and just the dedicated support materials that we have. So they're going to be very, very well set up for those materials. Running things beyond that though, um, looking at the other machines is probably going to be a better option. So if you have the options for running a wide range of materials, the ETCF is going to be specifically optimized for uh, kind of being a carbon fiber prioritizing machine. More than likely, we do have plans to uh, start off initially with the Race City branded PA12 CF and uh, the dedicated support material for the Race City PA12 CF. 
Um, we do, I believe, have plans to expand uh, the templates to other carbon fiber and nylon materials that will be available on the Open Fulfillment Program. Um, so we're looking at expanding the list of what the ECF will be able to run, um, but overall it is still going to be prioritizing carbon fiber infused materials um, and having the templates preset up for the materials. So as they're released, then it will be able to, uh, essentially fully compatible to run a wider variety of carbon fiber nylons, uh, but the ETCF is still going to be dedicated for carbon fiber infused materials, fiber infused materials. That is going to do it for our stream today. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. Hopefully we were able to uh, just kind of reinforce some things on the new material. Hopefully told you something new. Uh, and we'll go ahead and wrap up for this week. As always, my name is Nick. Thanks very much for joining in. I'll see you next week.